Welcome to Tableau Tidbits. Today, I'm going to introduce a topic called sheet swapping, which is essentially displaying only one worksheet at a given time within a single container. And to visualize this, I have a child's book. Um, on the left-hand side, we have a square picture frame. On the right-hand side, we have a circular clock. And what the sheet swapping does is essentially hide one of the sheets at a given time. So only one's visible. And it does that by actually compressing it down and hiding all of that visible area into this thin little binder size worksheet. It's still there, but it's not visible unless the parameter aligns with what the filter value says. So you can quickly shift between those two sheets. And this is an extremely powerful feature because it allows you to save a massive amount of real estate, reduce chart redundancy, and really provide that customized user experience. In the example we're gonna go through, you'll take a look at how we're gonna swap out a spark line chart. And this could be something perhaps a team likes to analyze their data by. So maybe they like to visualize their data in bar charts versus line charts. You could simply provide them with a toggle and it will tick the filter value on all the sheets based on what parameter you're selecting and it'll either hide or show the sheet you're most interested in. So sit back, enjoy the video, and hope this is helpful. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like this video down below. And also, if you haven't already, please subscribe for more awesome Tableau videos to come. All right, so before we can actually implement our sheet swap, we have to first create sheets that we wanna swap into. Let's clean up our view down here before we do that. So let's right click on our dashboard and then just to choose to hide all sheets. And that function keeps all the sheets that are not currently used on this dashboard visible. You'll notice that the Vision tooltip sheet is still visible. And that's just because it's part of this worksheet. So if you wanted to hide that one, you would have to go to this worksheet and then choose hide all sheets. There we go. Okay, so let's start out with the average goal. Let's just go to this sheet. And this is gonna be Quick and easy, we're gonna duplicate. And we're gonna rename. So instead of a spark line, it's an area chart. And then we'll update the mark type to be an area chart. And maybe give it a nice little black border. And that's it. <laughs> Next up, we'll go to summary again. Click on the total projects, go to sheet. We'll duplicate, rename to area. Once again, changing the mark type to area, do a black border. And then our last chart success rate, duplicate the spark line version and create the area chart version. Perfect. Okay, so now we have our three sheets that have area charts on them. We gotta create a parameter that's going to function as our sheet swap selector. So to create a new parameter, you can just click on the parameters pane, right click, and do create parameter, or come up to the top, create parameter. So let's create our new parameter. And let's call this P1-sheet swap. Changing your data type to string, list. And for our value, we'll say view as sparkline or view as area chart. And this is going to provide that user context on the dashboard so they can see quickly, oh, okay, I wanna view this as this type of chart, click okay. And the next step is to create a calculated field which looks for those two values. Let's call this one D1 dash sheet swap. So D1, P1, you can see the pattern that I'm using here. Case, P1 sheet swap, when view as spark line is selected, then 
view as sparkline. When view as area chart, then view as area chart. That's it. Super simple. We're not referencing any fields. We're simply using a string of text. And then we're going to use that string of text on each of our sheets that we want to enable swapping on. So we'll hit OK. And as you can see, these are all area charts. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our sheet swap dimension that we just created from scratch and drag that out onto each of the sheets that are area charts. It's very important you don't use the select from list option. Use the custom value list for this. And now we're going to be typing out that string view as area chart plus sign that saves that filter value, which means only show this particular sheet. If the parameter is set to view as area chart, hit apply and it goes away. Let's take a look at what our parameter is currently set at for our sheet swap. Right click show parameter. So it's currently only looking at spark lines. Therefore, it's going to hide all sheets that have this particular dimension assigned to it within the filter that aren't currently using spark lines. So we'll toggle over to area chart. Boom, it shows up. So let's do the same thing for these other two sheets. View as area chart. Plus sign, very important. And now it's inside this white area, so it's currently assigned. Apply, OK. And the last one, sheet swap. View as area chart, plus sign. Apply, all right. Area charts are set. Now we have to do the same thing for these three spark lines. But obviously, instead of using the area chart string, we'll use the spark line string. View as spark line. Goes away. View as spark line. And the last one. View as spark line. All right. So if for any reason the parameter isn't showing up that allows you to toggle between the area and spark line, just click on any of these charts, parameters, and then make sure the sheet swap is visible for you. I'm just going to put this right below the launch date so it's in line with these charts. And I'm going to rename that instead of P1-sheet swap, which is more of a developer or technical way of looking at that particular field and renaming it to KPI chart toggle. And now as an end user, you can see quickly, oh, okay, view as area chart or view as spark line. So currently our area charts are not on this dashboard. There is no blue check next to that worksheet, which means it's not currently sitting on this dashboard. When you're using a sheet swap, it has to be inside of a container that contains the other sheet that you're swapping in or out. So let's take our average goal and we're gonna drop that into this container and make sure you drop it right to the bottom. Hide the title. And as you can see, there's this thin little line here and that's actually our sheet. It's barely visible. And because it's hidden, it's shrunken down to that tiny little one pixel height, if you will. And it keeps this chart in focus, which is our spark line. So now if I toggle to area chart, right there, it swaps out the old spark line and brings in our new area chart. The spark line's still there. You just can't see it. Let's go ahead and add the other two charts. 
total projects right to the bottom there hiding our title and finally our success rate and that's how you implement sheet swaps on your dashboard that's probably the coolest trick that I've learned since using Tableau because it gives you the opportunity to sub out so many different chart types to appease your end users that might only want to see something one way, but maybe another team wants to see it a completely different way. Now you give them both the same dashboard and they select view as management, for example, and then you can give another version to maybe a team that calls things by a different terminology or only uses bar charts instead of line charts. Just an example, but now instead of having to curate multiple dashboards for all of these teams and groups, you could simply use the sheet swap method, which allows them to control their own destiny and see what they want to view based upon what you've already curated for them in the background.